Damn bots. Oh, let me live. That was a nice little streak there, yo. Those guys did not like me, that's for sure. All right, guys. So today we're using what I think is the best loadout for invasion or ground war. And I did explain it in the video a little bit, but I just want to explain it in a little more detail for you guys here, just because I was playing and it's kind of hard for me to talk and play at the same time. But what we're doing is we are actually running the last sniper rifle. This one's really good. The reason why we're running like an overkill class, a sniper rifle and a sub is because in invasion or ground war if you have a nice heady it's almost impossible to get that guy off that heady without having a sniper rifle because the ars are just really good for mid-range but they're not great for taking people off of headies and then the reason why we're running the mp5 is just simply the mp5 has great range and great up close ttk this is what i'm running on the mp5 and it's good for that medium range of course we're not going to challenge that medium far range that's where ar is like thrives but the issue with running just an ar is the fact that you can fight people in that medium to medium long range but then when you go inside a building to fight you're like screwed right and then i'm running smokes here because smokes give us the ability to hide those one-way roads where snipers are looking down at us if we want to cross areas and then running claymores because we are trying to hold down positions we're not exactly camping but we're trying to hold down the front line and kind of move around the map so claymores are nice just to kind of cover our backs and then for my perks i'm running tracker because tracker is really good for finding people especially with all these weird corridors and stuff um, having tracker gives you the ability to just kind of know where people are overkill of course and then quick fix and then lastly ghost and i highly recommend you guys run munitions box just because you're going to be shooting a lot and you're not going to be exactly like picking up any ammo with like scavenger or anything so i highly recommend running munitions box but i hope you guys know the gameplay there is some in-game commentary and we did relatively well so i hope you guys enjoy the video if you guys do smash that like button comment i'll see you guys next time peace if you don't have like a close range and long range gun it's gonna be almost impossible to like kill people okay so. that was a nowhere bathroom And then we're running the MP5 because the MP5 actually has great range compared to the other SMGs. And we're also running Claymores because I'm trying to hold down up areas. So like right now, right? I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I didn't die. Oh my goodness. Where am I going? Are you guys good guys or bad guys? I'm assuming you guys are good guys. Okay, so like... I can push them. We get to a position like this, and we can like relatively hold down spots Counter UAV online. They're okay, someone's pushing out I don't know the layout of spot so Okay, see what I mean? Now we, we got a nice long range and medium range gun. Got 
uh, double check that spot again. This guy's in here somewhere. Okay, and the fill upgrade I'm running. Uh, muni box. Push that bitch. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that. That was the first time using it and I called it wrong. Okay, we got at least one kill. Oh, three kills. Okay, one's on top of me. See, like this game mode you just gotta play like super slow hold down some spots and then slowly get kills definitely not my favorite way to play but i'm trying to get a a better understanding of how the that was a bot man with my bullet i'm trying to understand how like the map works for warzone you know So my guys pushed up a little bit. We're going to rotate this way to this green guy over here. <coughs> and hopefully we don't die in the process. Oh, God, there's a guy right there. Please don't shoot me. And then the ARs are nice. Yeah, ARs are nice, but the or the shotguns are nice. But the issue with the shotgun when you go overkill with this class is uh, you definitely just don't have enough. What is it called? Range. We'll do that just in case. So people are below me, and then now I should be able to catch people's weapon. bots I got like three bots pushing down low on me right now there's also a dude in this building that I'm trying to keep an eye on what the fuck how many bots are those This is such a cheesy way to play, but how the map is built and kind of just how everyone lines up in fights. Oh, I finally died. That you just kind of have to play this way. But I think this is like one of the best builds, and we're still playing relatively aggressive too. We're just holding down areas that. Uh, so let's see. So all our guys over here. Um, I'm gonna try to hold down this area over here. That one's going to be a little bit more aggressive, and we're going to be able to use our SMG a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more entertaining to watch. Uh, well, I mean, hopefully you guys are enjoying it just as much as I am. Okay, maybe we'll go in that building where our teammates are pushing, because I believe that building is actually the higher uh, portion of the map. If that makes sense. Ooh. That was a good push on him. Holy. 
Holy cow. Okay, the issue with that, this building is I never know how to get on top of that roof. So there's a bathroom here. There's no ladder here. So that means it must just be like an outside ladder. Hostile UAV. We'll put one of these there. Go up high. Looks around our surrounding. That's a bot. Go right below us. Um, hit a marker. I got a headshot on that guy. Was there another person in there? I think there's a bots. And then we'll pay attention over here again. Oh! That bot got shots, bro. <clears throat> that bot got shots. Your little cheeky peek here. Oh! Please don't kill me. <clears throat> okay, so they're all on this side. Moving here. Oh shit! Someone is definitely looking out for me. They they want my they want my head, bro. Yeeks. I don't I don't see his glint. That's what I'm trying to look for right here. Okay, that guy's dead. Oh I see his glint now. His glint's far. See, and this is like a weird spot where we push them to their spawn, right? So it's kind of hard to push up because there's like no cover in their spawn. That guy right there. I'm glad that cruise missile didn't hit me. Okay, there's a sniper down here, so we're looking at me. We gotta be aware of. Okay, that's a tank. We can't shoot that thing. No, he came for me, bro. The they wanted me. Ooh. Okay, there's one up top. Oh, he's dead. Oh, the fucking visual shake, man. The visual shake's throwing me off. I think they're still in that. Yeah, they're still in that window. Thin the needle, boys. Thin. Is that the word? Is that the say? Oh, shit. I don't know if that's the word. What was the word? I don't know. Thin the needle? No, dude. It's... Someone help me. Help me. Write in the comments what the hell that is. What am I trying to say? Oh, we won! Woo! Yeah, I wonder how many kills we got. What? Solid work. 182. 
Or one, yeah, 182 divided by 5. How much is that, guys? Like 50 something? Oh, we'll, we'll say like 5 of those. Bot kills. But yeah, so that's that's how you gotta. That's my way of playing this map. Because you can play very aggressive, it's just a little wonky. Honey. 